Why don't you want to have kids? Write in the comments what you think about this. Enjoy the show. Story one, I just don't want to. Even when I was little, the concept never interested me. I have been told, you'll change your mind by family and friends for my whole life, but I simply don't see myself ever wanting or having a child. If I ever have the time and money, I would love to go get my tubes tied. Honestly, I just want the whole thing ripped out, but I don't think any doctor would do that for me. Story two, several reasons. When I was young, I even wrote a letter to my older self as a wedding present to convince myself otherwise, if I changed my mind to have kids. I always thought life was really not worth it. So much hardship, violence, death, struggling to make ends meet and pain for what? Pretty sunsets and movies and sexy time. If I had the option to not exist in the first place, I'd take it. So I want to give that option to my kids. Children don't want to be your incomplete self. Everything you couldn't do when you were a child, everything you ever wanted to do, they won't be happy if you impose it on them. To me, that's kind of a deal breaker. Why increase world population? There's already way too many humans and way too many kids without parents. If you want to be a parent, adoption is the way. There's probably other reasons in my letter, but I'm not reading it until I get married, so. Story 3. I've always wanted to have kids, however. I was taught about the responsibility of having children and a family from a young age. So I always knew that before having a family or even a relationship, I had to have certain things, like a stable enough job and income, as having a relationship, and more importantly, a family, can be quite expensive. I also knew I needed to be mature and mentally stable enough to have a successful relationship and hopefully find the right partner, someone I trust and whom I believe I can have a life together, and someone I genuinely love, among other things. A few years back, I was diagnosed with a few mental issues, and due to those issues, I'm not exactly mentally or emotionally stable. I mean, I'm functional, meaning that I can work and do all things people do. I just can't get stressed too much or too often, or I could have a breakdown. I thankfully only had a couple of them in the last few years. I was also told that I might never be able to live on my own as the last time I tried. I had a few mental breakdowns when I lived away from my family, and I ended up a couple of months bedridden. Now I've concluded that the best course of action for me is to not try to have a family of my own. For one, I got tired of the one-night stands in college, so I only want a serious relationship, but I haven't found anyone I like enough to have a relationship with them. Besides, due to my mental issues, I don't want to be a burden to however I decide to date, as it's a genuine concern of mine, and depending on my mental state, it could be a big issue. Aside from that, my economical situation isn't very stable at the time. I used to earn a lot of money last year, but my job was way too far away from my home so I had to constantly travel by plane and spend most of the months away from my family. So I ended up resigning to be closer to home. And at the time, I had more than enough money to cover a few months without a job. But now I'm unemployed, and I have to take care of a few things, not to mention the amount of jobs available where I live aren't many and most need some level of experience or education I don't have in specific areas, so I'm neither mentally nor financially in a position where I can even think of having a relationship, much less having children. Sometimes I feel mad at myself because I always imagined I would eventually meet someone I would love and have a family of my own. We wouldn't need to be rich, but be a loving family. But now I'm in a position where I can't have either. The only person I ever loved enough to see myself having a future with them didn't love me back in the same way. And my friends and siblings, even the ones who didn't want to have kids, are starting to have their own families and children. And my family and friends keep asking me when I'll settle down and having children of my own. Of course, I'm also aware of how irresponsible of me it would be to selfishly try to date someone solely to make a family. And I also need to have the feelings of whoever I were to date into consideration. I can't just expect whoever I date to agree to have children with me just because I always wanted to have a family. It's not fair to them or any potential children. That's why I resign myself at the fact that I might never have children or even date someone as I have to work on myself first, on my situation before I can even begin to think about a relationship and a family, and there's a lot to work on for me. Story 4. Because A. I have horrid sensory issues and am prone to snap into a panic lash rage whenever I hear the high-pitched squeal of a child playing or a baby crying for attention. While the concepts of these two things are heartwarming, my misophonia disagrees. I also have awful intrusive thoughts and have no intention at taking my mom at her word when she says, oh, same, but it's different when it's your kid not going to risk it. And B, don't want to. Kids are something you pursue if you really want them. Anything less is unfair to the child. If you aren't confident, you can and will take care of them in the ways they deserve. Story 5. I have no desire to whatsoever. Don't you know that a person's childhood can be what shapes them for the future and contribute to so many aspects of their lives? 
Why should I, a person with no desire, raise a being that I'm responsible for in more ways than one? My main reason, though, is that I feel like I'll be working on myself, mainly for my entire life. I want to focus on me and not be chained by all the things that come with raising a child. I was a decent child, but during my teenage years, I was a fucking menace. I wouldn't even want to raise me. And I love my parents so much for their patience and unwavering love for me. Don't know if I'd be the same. Story 6. Because I'm not married and I don't think I should be a father if I can't be a good father. My physical and mental health kind of keeps that from me. If you're not committing to doing something right, especially something as big as being a father, then you shouldn't do it at all. Being black, I don't want to follow the stereotype of being a baby daddy. I think it's the most derogatory thing in African-American culture. It gets worse when you find out before welfare, feminism, and the war on drugs, black families were starting to become educated, had a better marriage rate, lower divorce rate, and higher birth rate than white people. Story 7. I value my time and freedom. I could not imagine coming home from work and not being able to lay on the couch like mold for the rest of the night. I do not have the mental capacity and they are too expensive. I plan on having animal babies. I've never seen a human baby I've been excited to see, but damn, if there is a baby animal, I will crumble into a mess of cuteness overload. I will die for them. If it was between saving a kid and an animal, I'd be saving the animal first. Kids are also really annoying. There are so many reasons to not have a kid. I could go on forever. I was also abused as a kid and I don't really want to fuck a child up. I don't think I'm mentally capable of being responsible for anyone but myself and my partner. Story 8. I live in a third world country with everything bad about individualistic industrial capitalistic societies like the U.S. Inequality, shitty jobs, lack of meaning, rat race, overworked, and everything bad about living in a third world country. Poverty, lack of safety, no unemployment insurance, things more expensive than in developed countries, lack of opportunities for growth, leisure, shitty weather, corruption, and dictatorship, etc. I would be nuts to bring a human into this world in general, but even less so in this shitty country. I want to die everything single day. Why would I put a human through this? Story 9. Oh, the list of reasons I have. I can't afford my own life. I'm not bringing a child into it so they can struggle as well. My anxiety is so bad I wouldn't be to handle it. I'd have to be heavily medicated and a child deserves a present mother. I am genuinely afraid of pregnancy. You're telling me, uh, there is another human inside my uterus? No, thank you. It creeps me out. The things that happen to your body while you're pregnant? No, thank you. Childbirth? I'd rather not. I work with children. While they are children with significant issues, and I understand not all children are like this, I could not raise one of my own. Sure, we have great times, but even the most normal, typical teenage behavior drives me up the fucking wall. Besides working with these kids, I get the fun parental experiences like saying, I will turn this car around right now if you keep it up and hearing my name so often I consider changing it. What fun. I have nieces and nephews and I love them to pieces and they are my whole world and I am perfectly content being an auntie. I'll leave the parenting to my sisters. Story 10. I love my freedom. I love spending my money on things I want to spend money on or save. I love a clean and tidy home that stays clean and tidy. I love spontaneity. I love sleeping through the night. I love to say yes to trips and holidays and events wherever and whenever they are. I love traveling solo. I love being able to put my time and effort into friends and family around me. I love being able to focus on my work. I love that I get to eat and go and do whatever I want whenever I want without having to ask or negotiate with anyone. I love, outside of work, not having a routine or responsibilities edgy. Pick up from dance class, drive to football, endure a kid's party, etc. I love showering and peeing alone. I love not having to wash laundry for multiple people. I do not want to deal with pregnancy, vom or birth, vom, or any of the gross shit that comes with having an infant. For me, there's just so much I would have to give up and or compromise on in life. It just wouldn't feel worth it for me. Story 11. Mental illness and chronic illness runs in my family. Pregnancy seems horrible. I don't like dealing with babies using the bathroom everywhere and constantly spitting up. I can barely take care of myself, let alone a child. I'm not ready to completely give up my life and dedicate it to a child. Giving birth terrifies me. I don't have the money. When women have children, we very rarely are seen as a person anymore. Just a mother. It's no longer her name being called, it's Barry's mother. Her whole identity is based on being a parent, and that terrifies me. I know how hard parenting can be, and it's not something I'm prepared for. I cannot handle them getting older. PPL talk about babies being annoying, but I wouldn't be able to survive them going through that teenage phase where they just despise you. It genuinely has to be biological, like I remember as a teen I loved my parents, yet still just felt annoyed with them for no reason. Unlike a lot of people, I feel having a child isn't something to check off or something there's a time limit on. Way too many people, 
my age are having kids and I don't think it's okay. I don't think you should have kids until you're 100% ready. And frankly, I find it selfish since lots of people just want a cute baby. They don't fully think about the fact that parenting is a lifetime job. Obviously, not every young parent is like this, but way too many are. Story 12. Becoming a good parent would require me to become an authoritarian to a degree. As someone who's had a bad history with authorities, I feel like I'd be betraying myself. I also just can't bring myself to be mean, especially to a kid who probably means well. And since I don't have to be a parent if I don't want to, why would I choose to put myself in that position anyway? Story 13. I thought I wanted kids for a long time. I'm now unsure but leaning towards not. I think I'm too selfish to have kids. I love traveling and sleeping in and eating what I want when I want. Additionally, I just don't think I can handle the constant worry for the rest of my life. You hear it all the time from parents. They're always worrying about their kids. I'm 29 and recently went through an emergency that left me stranded at a gas station in the middle of nowhere at night in Kentucky. Of course, I called my mother to help. I don't think I'll ever be mature enough for that kind of responsibility for the rest of my life. Story 14, my folks despite them doing their best by us, made me feel like having a kid was a burden, never explicitly, but in implicit ways. I feel that having a kid is a responsibility and not something that should ever come in the ballpark of burden. Too big a responsibility can't fathom myself becoming a father. My partner feels the same way, and we're both content in spending that time together on each other. At least this is the plan right now. Story 15, I'm a selfish person who only cares about myself, aka, I don't want extra unnecessary responsibilities. People say that shot to me because I'm good with children and would be a great parent and partner, a.k.a. I'm good at taking care of people. TBH, I'm just tired of taking care of everyone since I was a child and onto adulthood that I was forced to. I'm not about to give myself another load of responsibilities that I have a choice not to get. Story 16. Bringing another life into the world is not a decision to be made lightly, especially in light of climate change, school shootings, and economic instability. I've also got health issues that would make pregnancy extremely high risk. Speaking only for my situation and not passing judgment on others' individual decisions, it felt selfish to bring a child into this world just so I could feel validated as a real woman for having birthed a child. I also do not want the moral responsibility of possibly birthing a bad egg. I remember thinking after an elementary school shooting that the only thing worse than losing a child to senseless violence is having given birth to a monster who could do such a thing. I don't want that potential responsibility on my shoulders. Story 17. A child is a huge responsibility. It takes a lot of time, patience, money, sacrifices, and I don't want that. I want to go out and do what I want with my man and my pets without having to think, wait, I need to drop off the kid first because I can't go cliff diving with it. I don't have enough patience with people to take care of a small and idiot human being who will try anything to kill itself as soon as you look away because it's curious to see what happens if you mess with an outlet. Honestly, I could have a child. I have enough room for one. I got enough money. My man and I are both fertile and my dog would love a kid, but I wouldn't be a good mother and I know it because I simply don't like children. Even if I don't realize it, I would be unsupportive at best and negligent at worst. I wouldn't want my kid to grow up in a household who doesn't believe in him and makes him feel undesired. My man shares my views entirely. Story 18. I have multiple chronic and mental illnesses, a lot of them hereditary. I do not have the time or energy to handle 18 years of child rearing and the rest of my life to helping said grown child. Realistically, I would probably end up physically and verbally abusive because children are just that overstimulating, which I don't want to do that. They're really fucking expensive, and the world is so garbage, I would feel guilty and ashamed for bringing another human into this world. Story 19. I have two younger sisters, and we are 14 years apart, so I practically raised them as a third parent. And let me tell you, parenting is hard. It's financially, mentally taxing, and if you don't have the appetite to do it for a week, imagine your entire life being selfless and looking out for others. I have depression and I've had suicidal thoughts many times in my life. I can't imagine projecting that on my child. A child requires their parents to be stable emotionally, and I don't know if I'll ever get there. Plus the world we live in, pollution, climate change, less job opportunities, crimes, terrorists. No, thanks. People including my parents keep telling me who'll take care of you when you're old because apparently that's why they brought us to this world. So that's selfish. Getting your period is bad enough. I can't imagine being pregnant for nine months and expect postpartum complications, loneliness, and depression. Also, there are many kids in the world who are in need of a loving home, so I'm open to doing that when I'm financially stable. I want my children to know they can rely on me if nothing works out. If I can't give that guarantee to my children, I'd rather be alone and lonely and smile at others' kids.
The story 20. I don't really like them. They fuck up your body. I'm a woman. I don't really like any stage of having a child. The economy is getting worse by the year. Wars everywhere. Kids nowadays are growing up with too much social media, and you can't really remove them from that since their friends might bully them for not having social media, and it's pretty hard to control everything they do online. Places are getting more and more unsafe. Life is getting harder. I prefer to enjoy life with my boyfriend, and that's it. Story 21 doesn't seem worth it. I barely function myself. I don't need to add kids to the mix. I doubt I'll regret not having kids, but I'd rather regret missing out on kids than regret having kids. Takes too much time, money, and energy. I don't think kids are adorable. I have multiple nieces and nephews, and it was a pain until they reached a certain age and they were able to tell me their problem. I can't read minds. Many parents are terrible human beings and a pain in the ass to deal with. Yes, I think it's good that I don't want kids. Can't wait for the day when I'm officially too old, 33 now, and people will stop telling me that I will change my mind. Story 22. I'm still undecided. I don't feel the desire to have them yet, and I'm already 31. It's so much responsibility for their mental, physical, and emotional well-being. I've struggled with mental health a lot, and I'm scared they would too. I'm also not sure how I could afford it. The world is scary place with cost of living and climate crisis. Maybe I'd feel different if I met the right supportive partner, but ATM, I can't imagine it. I also enjoy my life as it is. Story 23. Along with just the general thinking that kids are annoying slash loud slash messy, I don't think I have the compassion and patience to raise a kid. I see too many being raised in unloving, angry homes, or their parents just don't put any effort into them, and I just don't think I have the capacity to raise someone the right way. The responsibility alone would be too overwhelming. I'm self-aware enough to know I get annoyed too easily, and pretty much everything kids do just put me in a bad mood, lol. A lot of my friends and family tell me that it would be different with my kid, but I don't think that's a fair gamble to make. Kids don't ask to be here, and it would be cruel to bring one into the world when I'm not sure if I could give 100% effort to them. I'd like to think I'd have a good connection with my own child, and I'd give them a life that others don't get to have, but at the end of the day, I'm too scared to fail as a parent. Story 24. Kids are hella expensive, and I've got some issues I need to fix before becoming a mother. I'm afraid that will take me a long time. Plus, I've seen my brother's kids up close. It's really hard. I don't want to bring a child into this world and not be able to provide them the best. I also fear I'll expect things from them. I fear I'll expect ROI like I do for most things in life, even though I know that kids owe me nothing. So, yep, I'd rather spend my money traveling because if my kids don't do well in life, I would not be able to take it. Story. 25. I don't have kids. BC, even the best human life is full of suffering, and I'm not imposing that on another human being. People supposedly love their children more than anything, even their own life. Why would you force existence on another person you purport to love? It's just fulfilling your gene's selfish desire to perpetuate themselves at the human's expense. Story 26. I'm a professional youth worker and love kids. I am paid for my expertise in child development and I get to have the benefit of supporting and nurturing young people while also maintaining the freedom to travel, make my own schedule, play in a band, wrestle in a local league, and engage in my own extracurricular activities on my own terms. I also appreciate deeply how much of a total commitment it is to parent well, and I personally would rather continue to live my own life while still being an auntie and trusted adult to some fabulous kids. It's the best of both worlds. Plus. I have zero interest in pregnancy at all. Story 27. My relationship isn't one in which I want kids. We have enough problems and I'm not sure we would be compatible co-parents. I don't have the living situation in which I would consider having kids right now. I would want a spacious house with outdoor space without sacrificing on location or with massive mortgage repayments. Buying or even renting a house close to my parents, who I would want to lean on, would currently be unaffordable. I don't have enough money to be able to raise kids and afford things as an individual. I would want to be able to afford to have family trips as well as couples' holidays. Parents would be happy to babysit. I would want to afford after-school activities for my kids, allowing me to have some me time after work a couple of days a week. I would want to afford daycare, not necessarily every day, but like three days a week, because in spite of working remotely, five days a week of juggling kids would be a lot. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, like it. Be sure to write comments and share your stories.